recursive binary search. Uh, we have here a, an array. Could be an array list, doesn't matter. Uh, those are the contents of the array. Notice that it's sorted, index positions. We've got a variable f for front that contains the index of the front of the list, which I'm representing by this blue arrow. We've got a variable b, which contains the index of the back of the list and uh, this orange arrow, and SV is our search value, the name of the list is list, and we've got this variable M, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So here is our algorithm. Our base case, this is recursive, remember, our base case is if, if we move F to the right, if F becomes greater than B, right, the, and that's the the index value that we're talking about, right? Because f contains the index value and b contains the index value. So if f, say, became equal to 5 and b became equal to 4, then uh, f would be greater than b. And that would mean that the value we're searching for is not on the list. So in that case, we return minus 1, right? Else it means we still have, we're still looking. So that's the case right here. So we calculate m by adding front and back and doing dividing by 2. And since everything's an integer here, this gives us an integer division. And m, using this case up here, becomes equal to 5, right? Uh, 0 plus 10 divided by 2 is 5. OK? And now what we do is we say, if list sub m, list sub 5, this guy, change colors here, if this is less than our search value, which it is, then we, because the list is sorted, we know that our search the value we're searching for, if it's in the list, has to be in this part of the array. Okay? So what we do now is we adjust our front to be 6. I'm just moving the arrow, but you get the idea, right? And <clears throat> we do that in a recursive call. So in the recursive call, so that this was the case, uh, list of m is less than our search value. The 84 was less than the 102. So then we make a recursive call to BS for binary search. We pass in our search value. We, we pass in m plus 1 because that's going into the front parameter. So m is 5. We don't need to look at 5 anymore because we know that it's not at 5. So we do m plus 1 is 6. And um, and back stays the same at 10. So that defines the new subarray which we need to to search, right? Everything between here and here. And I also represent this over here with this. This is our first call to the array, right? And now the second call, which is what occurred when this line happened, is here. And in this one, front is 6, back is 10. And we recalculate um, because f is less than b, we drop into here and we recalculate m. And m is now 6 plus 10 div 2, or 8. So that's our new value of m. Right? And now we say again, if list sub m, which is the 148, is less than our search value. Well, it is, and our search value is 102, right? So we're not going to do that. So we're going to come down and do this else statement. If, if list of m is greater, the 148 is greater than 102, then we're going to call, do the recursive call, pass in search value, pass in front. Front won't change. Um, front is still there. And, uh, and back will become m minus 1. That's m. So back becomes that, and that's, we're now in this version. Oops, let's 
stick with blue. We're now in this version of the recursion. And okay, and now m is calculated as 6 plus 7 div 2, so that ret returns 6, and um, or sorry, 6 is the new um, calculation of mid, and so again we say if list, oops, let me move that to here, okay, and uh, so that's the new, new version of M. If list sub M, which is 93, is less than our search value, 102 it is, then we're going to do this one. So in this one, we pass in uh, SV and front changes to whatever M is plus 1, so front is there. And, uh, and back stays the same. So now we're in this version of the recursion, right? Remember, these guys are sitting, waiting to finish, and if it all, they will return whatever gets returned to them all the way back to the original call to the method. So here, um, whoops, that should be seven. This is a typo, I should have caught that. 7 and 7, div 2 gives you 7. So now we're over here, we've calculated m is 7. If list sub m is less than search value, it isn't, it's equal to our search value. We'll do that, else if list sub n is greater than search value, it isn't. Else, return m. We found it. Oops, we forgot to adjust M to there. So we found it. So the 7 gets returned. Let's now change, it'll stay with green. The 7 gets returned to here. And from here, it gets returned to here. So each of those return statements are now finishing up. And it gets returned to here, and then it gets returned all the way to whatever called this method. And, that, and so that gets seven returned to it. So we know that in the list, the value we're searching for is at position seven. Okay, so that's all cool. So now let's, um, No, I don't, I don't think it's necessary to trace it through in case the um, value isn't there. Um, but what, let's, let's say, you know, we can just do this quickly. Let's say what was here was 103, not 102. Okay, so go back to this version of the recursive call. We've made our guess that, that our, it's at position 7. So we come down, if list sub n is less than our search value, it isn't, right? It's greater than our search value if it's 103. So we don't do that, so we come down this one. If list sub n is, um, sorry, that was less than our search value, it isn't, it's greater. If list sub n is greater than our search value, it is 103, then we do this one. So we do a fourth recursive call, which I'll indicate here. And in that one, uh, what we're going to do is search value will stay the same. Uh, front will stay the same. So front is still 7. Uh, back becomes equal to m minus 1. Well, this is what m is equal to. So m minus 1 is 6. So in this case, front is greater than back. Right? This is front. It's greater than back. So we return minus 1. And just like before, the minus 1 gets returned to here, that returns it to here, that returns it to here, that returns it to here, and that returns it back to whatever called it. So that, that is how you write 
a um, recursive binary search, and I hope this helps you understand how this works. Okay, thanks.